Where are you going there, Gracie? Here this we go. Jesse. Jesse. Let's hear what she's got to say on the message. Hello, Jesse. Has she got it turned on? Oh, it goes for five. <laughs> there we go. Yes, you guessed it. We're not home again. Why, why don't you leave a message? Oh, we'll be broken hearted. Because we won't know the phone started. To ring, ring, why don't you give me a call? Ring, ring, oh, we won't know you called at all. Uh, hello, Jesse. The reason no one's calling you, it's fairly <laughs> obvious to the entire country, and I think the key phrase in that message was, why, why? <laughs> why, why? And, Jesse, just a note, your answering machine message has just gone platinum. <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay, you're dialing number two there, Gracie. Let's see this what is, else. This uh, is a young man called James. Very creative type, he maintains. Well, yeah. we'll have a good look at that when we get to the... Uh, to the answering machine message. <laughs> and just while we're waiting for dialing, here's some soothing Try music. Oh. Try again. That's the new <laughs> motto for this program. Gee, he's gone to a lot of trouble to recreate that message from Telstra, hasn't he? <laughs> on his machine. Well, How do you do that? Are you trying again, Gracie? Yes, we are. Well, while you're doing that, here's some soothing music. da na 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 da na na da na 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 Oh, here we go. And this is James, is it? Mm -hmm. Correct. He's on his way now. Any minute. Hello, we're busy at the moment. Leave your message after the tone. Thank you. <laughs> uh, hello, it's Dr. Harry Cooper here. I just want to know if I left my hat the other night. <laughs> Hello. Ah, who's that? Jesse. Oh, Jesse. Yeah. Ah, oh, something's gone horribly wrong. It's the. Yeah, I'm I'm Jesse Price. You're oh. Jesse Price. Yes. Well, we, what were we calling you, James? <laughs> um, I can't remember. We've got the names wrong. That's very clever, Jesse. Mhm. Mm well, did you re record those in a studio? Did you um, get a no. heap of cattle into a recording studio and put that down? No, my sister's got a toy. And you press the button and it makes that noise. Well, you guys are just making your own fun over there, aren't you? Mm -hmm. we've, we've got a soldier on. Nice to chat, Jesse. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. I, I think you're on the verge of making a love connection there, Mick <laughs> Malloy. I think we've got time for one more message. Are you dialing it now, Gracie? This should be James. This Is should that right? be James. There's just confusion raining on the signal Here we today. go. Here we go. This is James. He's gone to a bit of trouble, apparently. Let's have a listen. Come on, James. Hi. Oh, look, you, you caught me at a bad time. So, uh, please leave your name and number after the time, and I'll call you back in a, in a few seconds. That's very classy there, James. And uh, James, are you there? You better pick up. You've got some explaining to do. <laughs> James? Yeah. <laughs> You're our winner. Oh, great. Tell, what kind of special effects technology did you employ on that particular message, James? Oh, I actually got it off a of tape. Oh, did you... <laughs> Not an old barge-ass tape, was it? <laughs> Something like that, yeah. Oh, OK. Well, you can pass the 300 bucks on to the creator of that message if you want. Oh, no, I think I'll keep it. OK, good <laughs> on you. You're our winner today on Radio Absolutely. Gladiators. And, Mick, I think it's been a roaring success. Hasn't it? Are we going to do this again? <laughs> I certainly hope so, but stick around, people. If you can endure it, we'll be joined after the news by Linda Gibson. <laughs> This is Martin Malloy. I see some guys doing pretty good. Pretty damn good. Brought to you by Telstra Mobile Net Digital. Tony here, just enjoying a bit of a break on the show and inviting you to pop in for a delicious hot meal at our new restaurant, Martin Malloy's Taco Shack and Kung Fu School. Number 80, your meal is ready. Oh. It's 6 o'clock. Noel Wilson with an SAFM news.
this hour of Martin Malloy will have moment of truth, foolish behaviour, but next up we'll be joined by actress comedian Linda Gibson, and as always, it's all courtesy of our remarkably loyal friends at Telstra Mobile Net Digital. We now bring you five minutes of the latest news. Oh, he had me full for a minute. Martin Malloy on the all-new SAFM. And, hey, it's time to bring in someone else, Mick. Absolutely. This uh, person, she's an actress, she's a comedian, and her performance as Nurse Conniving Bitch in the controversial TV series <laughs> Let the... Oh, Matron. Oh, but she's already causing trouble. <laughs> you see? It's on. I, I told you she was feisty. I said she was... Right. You said Linda Gibson, and I said, hope you know what you're doing, Tone. <laughs> well, because of her performances, whoever she bloody was, she's a <laughs> cult figure in Europe. It's Linda Gibson. <laughs> Oh dear, I'm sorry about botching up the intro there, Linda. I'm not surprised at all. You don't do any work, you do nothing all day, you just sit around, you're fagging on out the back, you're drinking, no research is done, I've never no. met you before. And when Who we... am I? I don't know, you don't know. And when we can't think of anything to do, we just phone people's answering machines. Yeah. <laughs> Did oh. you hear that? Well, I hope nobody was have, no one was having their tea mm. while the last one played. Yeah. We, see, we didn't know much, what we were it? getting into there. Mm. Have you got a wacky message on your answering machine, Linda? No, I can't abide them. Really? <laughs> they make me want to hang up. Don't you? Yeah. You've been there yeah, five minutes while people are playing out their yeah. dreams of, yes, I can sing, yes, and I can putting play. Putting you through it. Yeah. <laughs> and then by the end, you've forgotten why you're rung anyway. So, no. And Absolutely. maybe they're good the first time, but like by November, you know, <laughs> you've got somebody doing a bad Smithers from The Simpsons kind of loses its charm <laughs> a little bit, I find. You can buy the professional tapes, though, can't you? With, can you? With, yes. Yeah. Voiceover experts do. Their, John Wayne. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, come and get him, big yeah. fella. Yeah, I, I believe that's what Greg Evans does for a living these days. He just punches out a few of those. But, or maybe he doesn't, I don't know. I think he's actually got a more successful radio program than this one, to tell the truth. Oh, yes, he does. He's on another show. Mm. Another, mm. oh, and mm. in radio. Mm. Mm. We know nothing of it, Linda. No, we no. don't know what you speak of there. No. But uh, I mentioned in the intro, rather blunderingly, that you were... <laughs> matron conniving bitch and let the blood run free and th that show it caused a bit of a stir here was it too gory for uh, australian audiences do you think because what happened there what happened well, well we did it and we did two series of it and but, it was very successful and it was cult and people loved it absolutely. but yeah but but the second series what happened there was that on was it not on or was it just on late at night or it was b not on when it, when it was on. Yeah. It wasn't on. <laughs> right. If, if you remember, it was on Channel Ten. Correct. And when you have a program on Channel Ten, <laughs> it might be on Channel Ten, but it may <laughs> not, depending on. It's a mystery. It's a bit yeah, of a gamble. It is, depending if they remember to press the right button or something. <laughs> I or, see. You know, the it, work experience people. Yeah. In fact, I think mm. they um, let the blood run free should be rescreened at the moment. I think. Absolutely. Don't you think the way? Because we were a bit ahead of our time. Mm -hmm. And um, I think now with the whole medical push that's happening in sure. TV, Chicago <laughs> Hope and Ur, uh, um, I think it's time for blood to come back. I think Channel 10, if you're listening, program. <laughs> the time is right. Yeah. But it is actually really big in Europe, isn't it? Zimbabwe. Yeah. Zimbabwe. What do they make of it there? Are you dubbed or? I think we're dubbed. Yeah. We're into Zim I think it takes on a kind of documentary appeal in Zimbabwe, <laughs> yes. doesn't it? Yeah, it's real doco drama uh, in Zimbabwe. Uh, have you seen it or, or heard it in, in, in any of these dubs? In Spanish. How was that? Did that make you laugh? It, it just made sense. It was just like hearing it in English, it's really. It's the funniest thing. I was, yeah. in, I was in France and I... Hey, I, what were you doing in France? Hey, hey pal, this is before this hoo-ha. Oh, okay, sure, this fine. is when things were honky-dory between us and our French compatriots. Yeah. And uh, I had the pleasure of watching Dukes of Hazard dubbed into <laughs> French. And that is just laughs on a stick. <laughs> okay, Mick, you speak a bit of French. Translate this phrase. Those dukes! Those <laughs> dukes! Je suis un duke. Oh, of course. Duke. That's something like that. Yeah, that's, that's how about that. That's hopeless. <laughs> I've put it on my answering machine message <laughs> yes, anyway. So give me a call. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Linda, we want to talk to you about uh, tips for young people who might be thinking of getting into the comedy caper. Don't. So you have a bit of a think. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. You have a bit of a think about that, and we'll play a couple of tracks. We'll be back to talk more with Linda Gibson here on Martin Malloy. S A F M. <laughs> 
I hope people aren't just tuning in now because they'll be thoroughly confused. Back after this song on the all-new SAFM. Lines, don't you forget about me from one of those awful Brat Pack films of the 80s, if I remember correctly. Mm, which one? Oh, The Breakfast Club, one of those. Oh, a whole yeah. lot of, you know, slappable teenagers. <laughs> Molly Ringwald? Whinging, yeah, that'd be right. Judd Nelson, hasn't he kicked on? Linda Gibson was about to spring to Molly Ringwald's defence then, I believe. I want to know what happened to her. She has just disappeared. She I got what she deserved, I feel. She all that shit gorgeous complexion, though, didn't she? <laughs> hair. If you're just tuning in, Linda Gibson's with us on the panel, and I don't think she was expecting to be lured into a trivia discussion about 80s <laughs> cinema. I'm happy to any time. Best name, the best film, voted best film of the 80s. A raging ball every time. Correct. Valley Girl. <laughs> I'm sure. Close second. I'm sure. <laughs> Wasn't it King Ralph? <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Look, uh, Linda, how long have you been doing the live comedy? Oh, live comedy, mm. oh, 15 years. 15 years. And what made I you start? start? What did you, when did you decide you wanted to get up and give that a bash? Oh, damn, it started. No, well, we used to work in Albury, mm -hmm. which is a little place just south of here. Mm -hmm. And um, there w <laughs> we started a comedy room called the Galar Bar, mm -hmm. and so we had to do it. <laughs> right, you got the club first. Yeah, and then, and then what, what's going to go on in there? Oh, we're going to get and do it ourselves. But when we weren't doing it because we'd run out of ideas, there were... Rod Quantock, Jeff hey. Brooks, um, Tim and Debbie. Oh, those were the days. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. So they would come and visit and do mm -hmm. real comedy, and in the meantime, we'd try and learn how to do it. All right. And how long did it take you to get the hang of it, do you think? I haven't. <laughs> You're still learning? On still on the pea plates? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> still doing my dues, apprenticeship. I think it's a hard thing to learn. Absolutely. You are very le quick learners, you two. Well, we've only been going eight years, Ooh. and uh, <laughs> did you hear Radio Gladiators today? <laughs> Sophisticated oh. comedy. Oh, right? we've got the hang of it all right. Now, Linda, we always ask this when we have comedians on the show, worst gig, what was it, what happened? Oh, the worst one. I've never had a bad gig, so I can't answer. <laughs> Correct answer. I'm just mm -hmm. a fantastic. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, one uh, of the less successful ones, then. I don't know. I suppose there's... A, there's two, I don't, oh, it's hard to decide. One, uh, having 200... What is it about engineering students? <laughs> um, male, as they yeah. are, um, with beer after six hours of beer, it's yelling... It's a deadly cocktail. It is. <laughs> this and Doug Anthony All-Stars were, um, the, as they say now, headliners yeah. at this particular um, gig, and I left the stage crying. <laughs> <laughs> That one, I remember that one, 200 engineering students, or the other one where, I don't know, I just came, I, I was I was emceeing at this particular venue, I just came out on stage, had not even hit the microphone before a charming fellow in the audience yelled at me, why don't you whop one up, you? <laughs> I think that's not... I but the intention is uh, I think that's a Billy Ray Cyrus tune, yes. actually. Maybe he was requesting it. I was disappointed because I didn't have one to whop up me. Yes. And from there it just degenerated and the police came and I got a jug of beer thrown over me. They were thrown out. People got... Oh, look. And a fun night was had by all yeah. but you. And it's usually those people who, who, who say that and ruin your night are the first ones to come up afterwards and go, Oh, you were great! Oh, oh not bad for a Sheila. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you get that a lot, don't you? Hey, 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 hey! hey, hey. hey. Yeah. Okay, cheeky boy, young Tony Martin. <laughs> well, Linda, thanks for popping in today and sharing those horror stories oh, with us. All the goodness to you, Michael and Anthony. And, and to you, Linda. You were filming today with Frontline, by the way, was that correct? Yesterday afternoon. Yesterday afternoon. Yes, I've, I look, best thing on TV. I've got a bit on it. My only <laughs> disappointment was that they went in and said, look, you're paying a, um, you know, a really, you know, a poor working class mother of four. She's run ragged. You're fine the way you are. <laughs> <laughs> no makeup. Oh, what a no compliment to you. Okay, so we'll be seeing you on Frontline in oh, a couple of weeks. Won't it be terrific when it's back on the air? Absolutely. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Linda, for joining us today on Martin Malloy. Life short. Listen hard. Bronies. <laughs> But somebody's got to keep this show on the rails! Hey, 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 come on. <sighs> come on. Meantime, take it's... a chill pill. <laughs> <laughs> it's time for... Moment of truth. Simple idea for a competition, people. Mm. There are four facts, but no, there's only one fact because the other three are porkies. You spot the correct one. <laughs> You're on for a bit of a prize. And uh, what is that prize, Mick Malloy? It's a beauty. We're talking Paula Abdul. We're talking international air flights. 
we're talking major fun. Oh, it's an enticing cocktail. Mm. What you're saying is that if you win, you go into the draw mm. for a trip, 4-2 to mm -hmm. Los Angeles. You just jump on an Air New Zealand plane because mm. they're the best ones. They're the shiniest ones. Mm. You get on that and you fly over there. Oh, no money, no cash. Wrong again. You've got the two grand spending money. I don't know who that's courtesy of. That's yeah. just courtesy of some rich bloke around here. <laughs> then you're back on a plane and who's sitting in the seat next to you? Paula Abdul. How what about a, that? What a fluke. And, and if you're thinking choreography, if you're thinking Grammys, mm. if you're thinking bulimia, mm. <laughs> that's the person you want to be sitting next to. <laughs> Absolutely. There's no other seat. They've, apparently what they've done is they've ripped out all the other chairs on the plane and there's, there's only two. There's Paula Abdul on one next to her. So she can't, even if you're an idiot, a total dick, she can't even walk away and sit somewhere else unless she chooses to fly the plane. <laughs> exactly. And she might want to because that's just how enticing those Air New Zealand jets are. You just want to get behind the wheel and give it a go yourself. Let right. the handbrake off and just take it for a spin. Is that the winding up motion, Gracie? Okay, if you'd like to play Moment of Truth, call now 1800 657 657. This is Martin Malloy, brought to you by Telstra Mobile Net Digital. Martin Malloy, almost as good as a proper radio program. We're playing Moment of Truth. Mick, who have you got for us today? Mark's on the line. Hello, Mark. Hi, how are you going? Good, how are you? Good, thanks. Eh? That's the way you'd be keen to get on with it. Get yep. into the thick of it, wouldn't you? Yeah. But do you know how the segment works, Mark? Yes, I do. Well, just in case you're having a bit of trouble remembering the finer <laughs> points of the rules, today with the rules, I think uh, Pete's still out, is he? We've got Vicar and Linda Bull. Four facts. Only one of them actually true. Can you pick the moment of truth? Okay, okay guys, let fly with the porky. <laughs> Thanks, girls. And that's actually the B-side to the yeah. new single I hear me. They, they could have put a harmony on that or something, <laughs> couldn't they? Oh, they just weren't trying. OK, Mark, here's today's question. Comedian Dan Aykroyd's popular L.A. restaurant, bar and music venue is called A. Planet Aykroyd B. The House of Blues C. Dr. Detroit's D. The King Size Fashion Cafe Mark? Um, is it B? Yes! It is indeed. Lucky boy! The House of Blues, and you've got yourself a copy of the new Paula Abdul album, uh, and, you've, and you've put yourself in the waiting lounge. Yeah, that's great. You could be sitting next to her on that plane. What would you say to her, Mark? Oh, well, actually, I don't know. I'm out of words. Oh, yeah, so maybe Paula could uh, put you in the spandex and you could be dancing behind her on her tour when she gets here. That, oh, definitely. That could, you know, fire up the career. Yeah. Do you okay. play an instrument? Um, no. No? Good. You, you're in with a chance then. <laughs> <laughs> have you won any Grammys? Uh, no, I haven't. Okay, well, you'll have plenty to talk about with Paula if you win. <laughs> Thanks for playing Moment of Truth, Mark. Thanks a lot. Here on Martin Malloy. A special treat for the youngsters. Martin Malloy on SAFM. Program, and it possibly wasn't a good idea. We decided to phone people's answering machines and just have a bit of a listen to their messages. Mm. And after we did that, the station manager came running in, going, "You've got to call this one." So he's uh, he's given. And we, who are we to say no? Because mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> we're under orders. <laughs> That's right. So he's given us the number. Gracie's dialing it now. And someone named Nikki. Nikki I believe. Okay, let's have a listen. So Hello? nice of you to call. I'm five foot three, five foot two in my stocking feet. I like a great deal of fresh air, horseback riding English style. I like a moderate amount of alcohol, good parties, and I'm accustomed to having an answering machine take all my calls. Now that you know all about me, tell me all about you. <laughs> Go, Mick. Hi, I'm Mick Malloy. I'm six foot tall. I'm stacked in the lunchbox department and go off like a firecracker in the sack. Call me if you're up to it, babe. Hey, hey Grace, is the Boss Gags music going onto her machine as well? Let's just waste a bit of her tape, shall we? 
Uh, thanks to all our guests. Just ignore this, Nikki, when you get home. It's the end of the program. <laughs> thanks to our guests, Linda Gibson and Bob Geldof, all our gladiators, and join us tomorrow when we'll once again be joined by our old buddy, Santo Chalauro. Did you enjoy the show today, Tone? Yeah, you did. Yeah. What would you grant of, of made of today's show? Uh, well, I have to say, I think it was an absolutely delightful uh, program, and one one gets tons of um, lovely letters from. Am I wasting time? Yeah, waste, it's all going on the answering machine. machine okay. Yeah. <laughs> all right, but until then, if you can't say something intelligent, come talk to us. Alloy is a misguided production in association with half baked ideas and ill conceived concepts. Proprietary Limited, brought to you by Telstra Mobile Net Digital. Pete Smith speaking.